seen this but you will soon if I get to like 20 episodes anyway today we have a very special episode because uh, I'm gonna have my first guest we're gonna talk about some other crap that you probably don't care about and then I'm gonna end with a very special food segment about tasty fish sandwiches stick around first of all let's start talking to our guest all right this segment we are going to do an overrated crap the chicken tail, the chicken all right now for a while all I hear about from every girl and a lot of boys for some reason, mostly girls, some of the dumb boys, is about the show Jersey Shore. I never really watch television, let alone reality, well, pseudo-reality television. And as far as I know, it's just something like, um, oh, what was that? MTV, what was that show? The Real World, thank you. Uh, that's what I think it's like, I have no idea. So, here to educate me is my friend, Renee. Everybody welcome Renee to the show. Hey, hey, hey. She's a little short, so I have to lower the camera. Hey, how you doing today? I, I just saw you all day, but whatever. <laughs> what do you think of the desk? <laughs> Thank you. I just like to talk about the desk. Okay, so, educate me. I honestly have never asked you any of this stuff before. I want to know, what is the f appeal of this stupid show <laughs> that everybody seems to be so latched on. What is the appeal? What is it to you? Why do you love it? If you've never watched it, you can't say you don't like it, first of all. Yes, I can. If you've never seen it, you can't say you don't like it. And <laughs> Haven't you ever judged a book by its cover? No. You should. It's awesome. <laughs> it's a bunch of drunk people just partying. Real world? Hooking up. Real world? But they're Italian guidettes, guidos. Full of themselves. Real world? Big boys. No. <laughs> Is there a gay one? No. Oh, so it's not the real world. Okay. So, well, that's the appeal? That it's just a bunch of drunk you people? You just watch them get drunk, go to work. House of Hogan? hook up, get rid of the ugly chicks, and that's it. <laughs> Wait, you like to see the ugly chicks get ousted. This is some female thing, isn't it? Where they just feel a little burst of self-confidence whenever an ugly bitch gets kicked off. The show. No. What do you mean kicked off? People can people can get kicked off. They get it in with grenades and then they leave. What? <laughs> see, what the hell is a grenade? A grenade is an ugly chick. Oh. Because she can blow up the scene. So I work with like you know five grenades. Yes. Yeah, You're one of them. I'm kidding. <laughs> I've never heard these terms, okay? I'm learning. Yes, it's yes, Jersey Shore terms. Yes, and, well, okay, okay, how about this? Why, what makes it so different that this is the big phenomenon right now? There's been, there's been shows that come and go all the time like this. Why is this one so big? I don't know anything about it. So. I don't know. I mean, they're Italian-Americans. They're full of themselves. It's comedy. They just. It's funny. Watch right. South Park. That's comedy. No, but this is real life. This it's is not real life. It Any, is real life. Anything you see on television, not this, this is real. This is the internet. Anything you see on television is fake. They want no, money. This That's is real. This is them. They're, the boys, they get their their eyebrows done. They do their hair. They go tanning. All so they're metrosexual. Stuff. Basically, but it's their real life. They're, you're watching their real life. If they're in front of a camera, it's not their real life. <laughs> Would you act normal in front of a camera? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, name off a couple of the retarded people on the show. Tell me about them. I'm so interested. <laughs> okay, then. Snooki. She's the same height as me. She wears the poofy. poof. <laughs> She's tan. She wears the poof. Um, Mike the situation. A bump it? 
No, she doesn't have to use a ball pit. <laughs> she invented the poop. <laughs> um, Sammy and Ronnie, who always fight all the time. Uh, Jay Wow, who... <laughs> Continue. Jay Wow, who looks like the porn star. She's got fake boobs, and she's a tough little cookie. Um, Vinny, who's a normal Italian American. Oh, Vinny, that's original. It's Italian. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Polly D with the blowout. Everyone knows who Polly D is. Not me. DJ Polly D. He has the blowout. Uh, takes 25 minutes to do his hair. Everyone knows that. <laughs> he can blow it out his ass. I don't care about these people anymore. Uh, just one more thing. Well, who, who, who is your favorite person on the show and why? Boy or girl? Because there's I have two favorites. Whatever. Pick one. <laughs> favorite girl, Snooki by far. Because she's cute, she's small, she's little meatball. Cute? I don't know about that. I bet she looks like a fake and bake orange bitch who I just want to punch. <laughs> no, she's cute. She's a little ditzy, but she's cute. Um, and Polly D is my favorite guy. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I remember you telling me you you were like, "Hey, Ninja, you would love this show if you only just saw it. You don't know me very well. I will hate something just to spite people. So I guarantee you, if I watch one episode of this show, I will want to." every single one of their families on that show. Just because that's what you want people to do. <laughs> you, you could watch it and I won't, no. never admit it that you would like I it. I promise you I won't like it. I promise you. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just going to sit and hate it just for the hell of it. That's but anyway, what I think doesn't matter. This was overrated crap. This is because America seems to love it. I just wanted a little more insight as to why. Everybody, thank our dumbass guest Renee. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> See, they like you, I think. They might just be cheering out of pity. But anyway, go on. <laughs> is out of my system. Let's talk about something awesome. I'm going to do a Gems You May Have Missed segment. Alright. Now, you know, I, I'm going to do a classic game. And I'm not usually into the whole sports genre. You know, it's just not my bag. I like the arcade type things. But this... This this game in particular is for the Super Nintendo. This takes me back. Me and my buddy Carl used to play this religiously. And it is by far the best and most simplistic and most fun baseball game I've ever played. And it's called Extra Innings for the Super Nintendo. Oh, welcome to... Extra Innings. And the box art there does not represent the game whatsoever. I can't really describe what it is about this that was so fun. It's like little cartoonish characters. It's just a well-made baseball game. It's, it's fun. It's uh, two players. Uh, the, the, the outfield in this is actually easy to control, unlike most of the other baseball games I've ever played. And the, the characters are big. You can see where the ball is going to land. I don't know. There's just something about it that's real fun. It's, uh, the, 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 if you... Miss if you strike out, the guys break their bat over their leg pretty much every time. And I don't know, it's just, it's stupid fun. I suggest you look at it, it's probably worth like two dollars. So if you want to track down a copy and try it out, you should. I'm just saying, it's not always the major league ones that are the best ones. So give extra innings on the Super NES a try. On to the next segment. Now this segment is very special. It's going to be called Ninja Notice. These I'll devote to just little nuances and things that generally either bother me or just puzzle me. Okay, this episode of Ninja Notice, I have got some food. I'm actually pretty hungry, but I'm going to wait to eat it. Okay, have you? did you ever go to McDonald's and if you like their filet of fishes, which not everybody does, but I love them, they can't put the damn things together. So I bought a couple, and I'm going to just see how how well these ones stack up. I got two of these. These things are put together by kindergartners, and I'm going to prove it right now. I haven't opened these yet. Let's see what we got here. It's Well, I'll just take a look first. All right, this one. This one's okay. Normal. You know, this one's okay. Damn it! That's what I get for doing this without preparation. Let's try this one. <laughs> Kindergartners can't put together a sandwich. Let's see here. Okay, here's my main complaint, which didn't happen too bad on this one. The bun was all the way over here. All right, the thing that bothers me about these things, I love them. It's got one half of a piece of American cheese on it. Yet, somehow or another, it's always like 
The cheese is placed on it. I don't have a mouth. The cheese is placed on it in the most haphazard, dog loving, stupid way I've ever seen. It, it, it's, it's a piece this big, and you can't get it on a bun this big. It's always hanging outside. And when you try to take it apart to fix it, you can't, because the damn thing's melted. Put together the fish sandwich like you have at least 60 IQ points. That's all I ask. Thank you. These were freaking good, and I had a great time today. I hope I see you next time, if there is a next time, because we could be canceled by then. But thanks for watching. Have a good night, retards! Yeah.